Hello guys, this is Mauro from Infotech.com and on this video I want to show you a tour of the uh, Windows 10 build 10 547 and this is a new build that's rolling out to insiders and it contains uh, a few new changes since the uh, build 10 532 that was released a few weeks ago so there is a couple uh, you know there is many things that are uh, they're happening on this build so let's get right into them all right the uh, the first thing I want to uh, note is that uh, uh, we used to have only three columns of uh, live tiles on the start menu as you can see right now uh, but many users uh, said that um, and when they are on 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 tablet mode there is a lot of uh, de data space and they should like they would like to see uh, more tiles on the uh, same as on, on the same space so what Microsoft did was to add a new option on the uh, settings app when we go to uh, personalization and we go to start and we'll see now that we have the uh, show more tiles option that we can enable and that will add a an extra uh, column of tiles uh, right on the starter screen now we can have up to four medium tiles or up to like two large uh, live tiles on the starter screen that uh, will help to see more uh, apps or locations or links that you have on the uh, on the starter screen on, I mean on the uh, start menu and now we can you know see more more tiles in and now we can not only have more tiles on the on the same on the same space but we can also fit even more tiles uh, on this bill and upcoming bills the uh, limit the limitation of uh, 512 tiles on the status screen has been bumped to uh, 2048 so a lot of tiles that you can fit on the uh, new start menu so we get off of the uh, tablet mode right for right now and then we're going to um, I want to show you that the um, the context menu on built-in apps and apps uh, and other apps have been updated, and now we can not only see the uh, more um, option right there that will take us to all these uh, three um, four options that we see right now. We can in, um, turn off and turn on the live tiles or pin or unpin from the uh, from the taskbar. But we also have a new rate and review and share options that they will allow us to do just that. I would allow us to like, uh, give uh, developers um, rates and reviews, and we can also share the um, uh, the app with friends or family. So we can, you know, this is like a way of Microsoft uh, uh, making sure they more effectively. Um, are able to like get more people onto on, onto the uh, onto the Windows apps. So that's uh, it. these two options are not working right now, but they will work on on future updates. So that's at least what we hope. Now, also, if we go to the uh, tablet mode, and if we open um, several apps, we're going to see that a Microsoft is updating. Uh, a snap the uh, a snap feature let me show you really quick uh, let's do the um, calculator and let's also try to go to like get it started and now we get you know like if we want like a third app or you know we open a third app we're going to have this effect that you know where we can choose where to open uh, the app like if we want to get it uh, a snap to the right or to the left so we've seen this on Windows 8 but now this this feature is coming to uh, Windows 10 as well so let's choose right here and now we can we have that option to um, snap on the side if we go to test view uh, we're going to see which apps are a snap with each other and we can also even like grab an app and now we can just drag it and snap it on the side that we want. So that's that's a really nice addition that that's coming to the um, 
to the operating system in, in on threshold two, which should be released, uh, which should release on on November. Um, now, if we uh, get off of the uh, tablet mode and we go back to the uh, uh, to the settings app, uh, one thing I, for I forgot to uh, tell you right here. Now that we see we seen this option before, but now uh, we're going to see it on the uh, on the uh, start on the startup settings it's right here which is occasionally uh, shows suggestions on on the start so now we enable that on the future we're going to start to see the suggestions of apps or uh, what we can use wh which apps uh, we should be using right here in this section so but you can come here and into this part of the settings and disable that or if you don't if you if you like the uh, tiles the way they are right now you can disable to the, the also the show more tiles but uh, another thing that I want to show you from the personalization is the uh, lock screen which now uh, for Windows 10 professional uh, now we get the uh, Windows spotlight which basically uh, allows allows us to get a different wallpaper on the um, <coughs> on the login screen uh, almost like every every single day and so we can actually rate that uh, that background and based on our rating we're gonna get a, a new and different um, uh, wallpapers pretty much every single day every time that you reboot the computer uh, in each in each day you use your computer also another interesting addition is that um, now we have the, um, the ability to uh, disable the uh, Windows background picture on the uh, sign-in screen. Uh, so like we, uh, we see right now that this um, option is turned off. And if we, if I try to lock the uh, computer, and then I try to log in, we'll see that uh, that now the uh, the background it's uh, replaced with a solid color. If we uh, enable to show the background, we're going to see the. Uh, uh, Windows 10 uh, background on the sign in screen like if we go right there like a lot of people they like the uh, the image but they don't like to see it every day on their on their sign in screen so that's one thing Microsoft is allowing us to do is to disable uh, this option um, right there on the operating system uh, a lot of people might want to change the uh, the background of the sign-in screen, but that's not an option just yet. But that might come in the future. Uh, but w we still don't know about that. So let's move along to other changes that are going on on this bill. So um, as you might have noticed already, now we have new icons for built-in apps, and we might we might see more um, more of those icons um, get changed in the future. And as you can see, the uh, the uh, Windows Store, Windows Store, the uh, calculator, and mail. They have different um, icons. They're not just white. Now they're more colorful. And if you can see right right there, the uh, the background is kind of like gray. So it's kind of moving away from that um, uh, white background. All right. So uh, let's let's keep moving on the changes. I'm trying to like keep the video short, but when there are a lot of changes, it takes quite some time. So um. Let me show you right now that um, uh, Microsoft also is making improvements on the uh, on the context menu. Uh, before we used to see just a white background, but now it's getting changed to a uh, gray background. Uh, we don't know how it's going to look um, on the uh, final version, but uh, right now it, they're great, and we're we're seeing that uh, that's happening on pretty much uh, every area where we can access that um, uh, that menu like if we go right here on the uh, file explorer if we open that with we now see the uh, improved context menu with the uh, uh, gray uh, background instead of the uh, the white another change that's um, that we had seen on leaks version of the operating system is the um, uh, the animations on the uh, on the Windows Store apps now if we open open and close and if we open and we close a, um, a Windows app 
like you see right now they have the same effect as when you open and close a traditional um, uh, Windows app so it's like Microsoft is getting uh, all the experiences all together so they they're more uh, one single experience so that's good to see that that's going on all right so now let's go to the uh, to the settings app because there's some um, changes uh, going on in here as well I already show you personalizations but if we go to system now if we go to uh, multitasking we're going to see this um, option that it uh, says like you know when I re when I resize the snap window simultaneously resize any adjacent um, snap window so this feature right now it's off by default we d uh, I don't know if that's going to be enabled by default when the uh, update releases to the general public but right now what it does is when you snap two apps let's say get it started and and the settings app now if we um, if we have enable this option we can actually uh, I don't know if it's going to work right now let me see well we know that uh, this bill is uh, it's a little bit buggy but basically what it does I tried it before and it worked is that uh, if you have two apps let's see if I can change if I can make it work let's go to settings let's see if I it worked a few minutes ago let's see if that works now if we snap two apps well all right it doesn't work right now I reboot the computer like a few minutes ago and it was working and now it, it, it's not working but basically what it, it will what's going to happen is when you have enable this option and you try to um, make a window bigger uh, this window will resize uh, automatically when you resize this um, the uh, the other app on the, on the right so so you don't have to like come here choose and try to like make it fit right there that takes a little bit of time so Microsoft if, if addressing this by adding this option right here but uh, it seems that it's not working right now well but it will work when uh, Windows actually uh, with this update actually rolls out to um, to the general public or well, I really hope that it actually works all right uh, let's move uh, to another change that's going on now if we go to uh, devices we going to we're going to see a new USB option that it's just simply um, a notification that you can add by default it's enabled so if there is an issue with the USB connected to your PC uh, you will get a a notification but if you don't want that you can turn that off and you won't see uh, any uh, errors popping up so that's uh, that, that's personal cho it personal uh, choice right there so if you want to see it or not it's up to you but by the well it's uh, it's on if we go to the um, the account settings and if we go to uh, work access we're going to see that um, uh, this section has been updated and now we have a sign in to Azure Active Directory and to enroll the uh, uh, your device into the uh, device management so this is more for enterprise if you're not using your computer on a school or or like a, or on your company uh, you won't need to uh, care about this but the changes are there now let's go back to the um, to the main settings now if we go to the uh, privacy section we have seen this option before but now um, now it's like official now we have two no, uh, new sections the uh, call history and email which allows us to uh, control the pri privacy for those uh, uh, settings so basically I think that this is uh, these settings are um, is gonna be more useful when when we have the uh, messaging uh, messaging app uh, for Windows 10 uh, powered by uh, Skype so um, you know you can enable this option globally or like in, in the case of email 
uh, you can enable globally or per app so that's good to have that we have more options on privacy and how apps access our, our data so that's good to know now there is also an update a change on the uh, update and security section if we go to update and into Windows update and then if we go to the uh, advanced options we're going to see that now we are able to change our uh, Windows Insider account if we like to do that we only click the uh, account that we currently have and just click change that will open up this box and from here we can choose from a different account that uh, it's already uh, included on the on the on the operating system or we can add a new uh, Microsoft account so like if you need to do that you come here and do that alright so uh, finally there is some changes on the uh, Microsoft Edge web browser changes now if we go to the uh, to the main menu we can see the uh, cast to um, cast media to device and if I click nothing happens right now but uh, we might be able to oh it's connecting right now it didn't happen before but now it's uh, working so here's the uh, what's you know what's going to happen make sure the device is turned on and discoverable and so basically you can just push content to uh, support it um, uh, this place so that's good that's good that that's that's coming that, that will be like a, a mirror cast technology perhaps or you know something like Chromecast so that's really good so now also if we go to settings there's not a lot of changes going on here but uh, we can see now the Microsoft Edge has to be bumped to uh, 21 10 5 47 and if we go to the advanced uh, settings we see um, a proxy setup um, button right here that if we cl uh, if we click it it will actually open up the uh, settings up to the proxy settings so it's just a little bit easier to access to those options um, finally there is a uh, hide my IP address over uh, web RTC connections like if you need to do that you can click that and on the um, if we go to the uh, about about flags this is like the experimental section where you can uh, try new features before they actually roll out to um, to the web browser so now we're going to see that it's a new media uh, source extension perhaps we can say that this is the first station that Microsoft is adding to the uh, 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 to the web browser uh, so basically what we can do is to enable the uh, VP9 which is a video codec uh, created by uh, uh, Google and now it's coming to the operating system so you know we don't know if uh, if, uh, if, if actually this um, feature is going to come out on the um, stable version of, of the of the web browser but we know that Microsoft is working on that also on this uh, version of um, um, Microsoft Edge there is a new support for the uh, object uh, real-time communication or or uh, RTC uh, API which allows uh, real-time communication without using plugins so basically we, it would allow us to uh, you know connect to um, uh, to make a Skype phone call uh, without having the need to install um, a third-party plugin uh, to enable us, so it's all going to happen inside of the uh, web browser. Uh, so that's pretty much all the uh, new changes uh, going on, on on this build that I that I was able to discover and compile for you guys. Um, like always, uh, don't forget to check PewDiePieInfoTech.com for more coverage on Windows 10 and more and other things tech. Um, also, don't forget to like this video and share it. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.